Um, there are only a couple of slides left now in this lecture. Uh, these slides again are for good students. Uh, I, most every student is a good student, but some are more studious. They go for a deeper understanding of things uh, than others. Uh, so this is basically for those kind of people. Uh, well, everybody should really study it, but uh, more so for the concept builders. Uh, so the following slides basically look at how mean arterial pressure and pulse pressure, how do they get affected by cardiac output? This is again just splitting here, splitting ends uh, in this relationship. We have get, gotten a taste of their interrelationship. So very simply, cardiac output enhances mean arterial pressure. It also enhances blood pressure, uh, pulse pressure. This is that average Joe's response. But what about if you are Mr. Smarty Pants? What would happen then? So we know that mean arterial pressure is cardiac output multiplied by TPR, right? This we, we've done already this. And we have also touched upon cardiac output, this entity here, is a product of stroke volume into heart rate. So let me say it in a reverse order so you can really remember this. Stroke volume and heart rate of the heart results in a cardiac output. This cardiac output then falls into the arteries. In arteries, it forms together with the compliance of the vessels, it forms the mean arterial pressure. There you go. Now, we were talking about the effect of cardiac output on MAP and pulse pressure, right? So, cardiac output's effect on mean arterial pressure is independent. This basically means you increase cardiac output, of course, keeping TPR constant. You increase cardiac output, you increase mean arterial pressure. Don't be confused by the exercise example in which we were increasing cardiac output and decreasing TPR. We are now keeping this constant. We are only increasing cardiac output. So naturally, mean arterial pressure would go up. So this relationship is pretty independent. Another aspect of its, the, the word independent here is we don't really care which component of the uh, cardiac output is increasing. Is it the stroke volume? Increase uh, an increase in stroke volume which has caused an increase in cardiac output or is it an increase in heart rate which has caused an increase in uh, cardiac output or is it an increase in both? Remember we were splitting ends, right? I told you I warned you so in 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 as regards to MAP it doesn't really matter where the increase in cardiac output has come from it doesn't matter however with pulse pressure, it does. Nobody said physiology is simple. The deeper you go, the more dividends you get. See, I used a positive word there. So pulse pressure, cardiac output's influence on pulse pressure depends. Now this is where the condition is. Whether the cardiac output's increase came from the stroke volume or whether it came from the heart rate. What do, what do I mean by that? We've done this. The following slide will only deal with this. So, scenario number one. Heart rate increases. Stroke volume decreases. You have a heart which is beating fast, but each beat is getting uh, lesser volume out of the heart. Okay? This typically happens when only the uh, uh, heart rate increases and you don't have increased contractility with each beat okay now again you will do the math very quickly cardiac output would be constant because why because heart rate multiplied by stroke volume is cardiac output and since one is increasing the other is decreasing the cardiac output would be constant and since mean arterial pressure is dependent on cardiac output have keeping in mind that TPR is constant, mean arterial pressure would also be constant. Okay. However, pulse pressure decreases. 
why has pulse pressure decreased pulse pressure has decreased because your systolic pressure which depends on the stroke volume has decreased once again remember the heart is in has is contracting more per minute but each stroke volume the volume that it's getting rid of has actually decreased because you're not giving this heart enough time to fill you have increased the heart rate so you have uh, decreased the diastolic time of filling of this heart so what you have is say uh, more stroke volumes per minute but each stroke volume has really little to fetch from within the hearts and diastolic volumes okay i've said it in like two three ways now so stroke volume would decrease and we know that stroke volume is the main determinant of pulse pressure's systolic component so in pulse pressure systolic component goes down the rest is chemistry as soon as you go you do the subtraction systolic minus diastolic and you have decreased this the whole thing will be decreased so in this scenario once again in this scenario the mean arterial pressure is constant while pulse pressure decreases for the previously mentioned decrease in stroke volume okay the diastolic volume actually remains normal in this situation sometimes increases as well scenario number 2 it's the opposite heart rate decreases but now each contraction each contraction of this heart is enhanced so you haven't really touched upon the chronotropy you have increased the inotropy see i'm borrowing words from heart physiology chronotropy is the number of times heart contracts the inotropy is the force of contraction of each contraction so the typical example is of athletes okay in athletes basically they have bigger and stronger hearts so you know that uh, what athletes bradycardia is right this is that example here right here so the heart rate actually is lesser than 60 which in a normal person would have a problem he would have bradycardia but since this athlete's heart is bigger and stronger he achieves he or she achieves a cardiac output at lesser heart rates because the stroke volume of each beat is strong and more than your average person non athletic person okay so when you multiply this you again get a constant cardiac output very similar to this situation here which then leads to a constant mean arterial pressure okay i hope this is this is clear any guesses for pulse pressure well the situation is right here the answer is staring at you straight stroke volume has increased it would increase the tara the pulse pressure and since the pulse pressure pulse pressure would increase you do the math systolic minus diastolic this 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 value has increased because of stroke volumes increase uh, the resultant pulse pressure would be higher then normal okay